Welcome to day 22 of the I Will Do It November Challenge and today's video is a rest day. So for today's workout, we don't have any workout and this is one of the only complete rest day videos that I've created for this series and that is because I want you to get out of the mindset that putting in more work means faster results. So that is my mindset tip for today which is you cannot compress your entire fitness journey into an extremely intensive training nutrition program that spans over a few months or a few weeks just to get quick results. I've talked about this before, but it does take a long time for you to actually transform your body, to build habits, to develop a mindset that will help you continue these habits as you grow in your fitness journey and in your life. It's also important to remember that just the way you did not put on all the fat or got unhealthy uh, you know, within you know, a few weeks, it was definitely a long period of time. Similarly, it will take you that much, if not more, time to undo those things and to learn new habits. I want to also talk to you today about what you can do instead of today's rest day. So here are a few things I want you to focus on on today as a rest day and that is not do anything. I basically want you to understand the importance of unplugging yourself from just the grind. You see, our mind is so caught up in achieving goals and achieving today's goal and then tomorrow's goal and the future goals and kind of you're layering anxiety in your mind by not taking some time out to reset yourself. And that is what today's rest day is about. I want you to take rest, catch up on your sleep, catch up on any missed activities that you want, you want to do. Like it could be set, going to the post box, it could be you know paying bills, it could be just catching up on errands like grocery shopping or meal prepping. And the reason I'm asking you to catch up is because oftentimes some of the most essential things in life are ignored and pushed away because we are focusing on our jobs or focusing on newer goals and it's important to understand that balance is what you want it to be and so if you feel like you have actually been super organized in your life and you do not need one whole day to catch up on it by all means I would advise you to do a stretching session but I would definitely recommend you to not overtrain yourself the way this entire challenge has been constructed is to ensure that we are varying through high and low intensity days. At the same time, we also have rest days to help the body recover and get stronger. And I also want to remind you that the next week is going to be one of the challenging weeks of the November challenge. And the reason it's going to be challenging is because we're going to throw in some non-stop workouts. I need you to be ready, mind and body, to tackle those challenges feel stronger and get stronger. Now that basically brings me to today's nutrition tip, which is how to indulge in cheap meals while achieving your fitness goals. So I've talked about this in a previous nutrition tip, but I want to reiterate a few points here and also give you a nice, another hack that has worked for me. And that is going to be to stop thinking of food as cheat versus no cheat. So if you think about a slice of chocolate cake, which is full of sugar, oils, processed stuff, you know, versus a bowl of salad, and you say salad is good and the chocolate cake is bad, what that will do to you is that will basically increase your craving for the chocolate cake because now you know it's forbidden. You sort of put it in a bucket of, uh, you know, I can't eat this, but your mind is going to keep thinking about it. And at the end of the day, you would always want to have a chocolate cake over a salad, am I right? <laughs> so, to make things simpler for you, think about food as less nutritious and more nutritious. When you look at a bowl of salad, right, you have all these different micronutrients, macronutrients, leaves, leaves are basically, they're packed with fiber, protein, carbohydrate, fats, everything within them, and they are very well processed in your body. They're processed differently in your body than a processed food item is. And what I also like to remind myself of is I should be choosing more nutritious food. So when you think about cheating, right, and you absolutely can't get over it, one of the first things to think about is, hey, does this food actually give me the nutrition that my body needs? And to also think about it in a way that um, 
you understand, right? Simply repeating that, you know, hey, this is nutritious or this is not nutritious, rather than actually looking into the ingredients. Think about what it's made of, think about how it's made, think about does that truly really benefit you? And I also understand that sometimes you just want to have it, you just, you just want to go and get that cake. So when I feel like that, my hack is to actually load a plate of highly nutritious food that I would normally eat if I wasn't having the craving and then leave some space on my plate and then put that delicious chocolate cake piece over there. But I also tell myself that I should eat everything on my plate, not just the cake. So I start off with a spoon of everything rather than just spooning it on the cake and just eating that up. This makes you feel and this will basically help you understand that you may create something but you're probably just craving a bite or so and when you are offered highly nutritious, delicious food, it may not be like your favorite food I'm sure, but if it's nutritious and delicious, you are highly likely to eat it if it's in front of you, on a plate, next to your cheat meal. Just a little tip from me that works and I hope that helps you out. With that, I really want to close off the video and I want you to take some time off to think about how you would repurpose today in helping you recover, helping you rejuvenate your mind so you can come back strongly tomorrow and you can smash. You can smash the next week. It's going to be challenging guys. I planned it so that we all feel, we feel the energy, we feel the strength and we feel like we are really strong superhumans. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.